This is exactly what happens with good conducting and with good orchestra playing. Another example um, of what the conductor does. You are driving a car, comes a curve, no problem, it comes zzz, you do the curve, fantastic. But uh, you have a party tonight and you went and you bought a, uh, a box of uh, 12 very expensive champagne bottles and you put them in the back. You're driving home. There comes another curve. You're gonna take this curve in a different way. You're gonna go slowly to make sure that the bottles in the back, they stay intact. This is exactly what happens with good conducting and with good orchestra playing. Because you have so many people extend in the back all these precious champagne bottles that are in the back so you have to in in your consciousness as a, as a conductor when you move that big apparatus of the symphony of the orchestra you know you have this it's like taking the curve with the champagne bottles in the back you have to take everybody with you and any kind of big abrupt movement would yeah, I mean, a good ensemble will be able to adjust, but it's always the adjustment is smooth. It's like in water, you know, we, the, the music is happening, the orchestra playing is like moving in water. You know, it's always, it's a smooth, it's not, it's not that kind of abrupt. Mm -hmm. 